So this is my unboxing of the Otti mattress. Otti is a mattress that comes from a company called Otti Sleep, who also seem to be Otti Holdings Limited. It's a company that was formed in July 2016. So it's kind of behind the others, but maybe that's a good thing. So when the online explosion uh, in mattresses happened in 2014, so a couple of years later, Otti have got on the scene, as in a lot of companies, there is this seemingly untapped huge market and people that just want to buy a mattress online, have it delivered in a box with a hundred night trial. So it's a no brainer because yeah, I mean, years ago when uh, like I used to shop at Ikea, you allowed one change. If, if you didn't get it right in the one change, you've had it. And how can, you can't just go into the showroom, try a mattress and think I like it or I don't. A, because it takes a long time to adjust to a feel of mattress and B, because you don't know how long it's been there, how many people have been on there and the whole feel of the mattress would have been changed by how long the mattress has already been used. So, it's a great thing. And it's a good thing that people come in late. Why? Because they've got to do something different. And Otti is definitely a different mattress. Just a quick overview of the company. So, as I said, it's Otti Sleep Limited. Started by a guy called Michael Salas. I don't know how you pronounce that, that name, but he seems to be something of a, an online entrepreneur. He seems to have a lot of c companies. Now, I'm gonna, there's going to be less detail <laughs> it, when I come to do the review of this mattress than uh, I would normally like to have because it's quite common when it comes to a mattress that a company will not tell you the full specs as in things like the actual materials used, the densities, and when it comes to pocket springs, the gauge and stuff like that and the materials. Not because necessarily they're trying to hide anything but because it seems to be common that they don't want other competitors or whatever knowing what their specs are. They, so it's not that they are hiding from the consumer. It does seem to be generally that they do not like it being out there in the market, what their specs are. You can reverse engineer the things. It's not a big deal. But why is it's very common? It's the first one that I've actually tried that it seems I can get no specs. And I just want to say, I did try really, really hard. And all the people I was speaking to either didn't know it or were saying, we can't tell you. So I went straight to this guy on Facebook, uh, Michael Salaz, and he was very nice, very open and, um, he said, yeah, it was quite honestly, he said it's a, it's a com commercial decision. And I think he really believes that it's the right thing to do. I think there's <laughs> nobody's trying to hide anything. And if you really, 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 really want to know, you can work it out. And why do I say that? Well, because as far as I know, the pillow that they sell uses exactly the same. I'm going to have to check this, but on a quick look on, on the website, and I have to say most of these websites are not the most accurate thing in the world. Although I must say one good thing, about Otti, when a lot of these companies have ridiculous things on their websites, like say, we are the world's best mattress, we've completely redesigned the mattress when they've got exactly the same as everybody else. So you can see the headlines here. I don't know if, I think it's in the camera, I'm not quite sure actually. Yes, it's in the camera view. So it says where dreams are made. <laughs> so the, there's no big claim there. I've got to say that's quite refreshing, where dreams are made. That's, you know, I quite like that because it's it's a soft, sensible thing to say. You know, think, oh, yeah, I'm in dreamland here. Better than saying, wow, we have the greatest mattress that's ever made. Nobody's made one like us. We completely redesigned it. We weren't happy before about the same. How many times are we going to read the same thing? So, yeah, I quite like that. And I have to say, even with some of the companies that do put specs on the website, some of those specs are quite suspect. So I just want to say, I, I can't get the details for this. There's nothing to be read into that. It is a normal thing in this kind of market. Now, I normally weigh my mattresses, I check the specs and I see if everything checks out. Just because that's, I, 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 I fascinate with small facts. It's just me. I have to say, as I was saying, I, as far as I can tell from the website, and I'm gonna have to check that because websites are never that accurate, to be honest. The pillow, the Otti pillow, uh, retails 50 pound, but you can get two free with your mattress uses the same material as the top gel foam memory layer, which means basically I just have to measure the size of that, weigh it, and I can then work out exactly what density they're using. Now, it's not a big deal, and I may or may not do that because if they generally don't want it put out there, they don't, but I probably will, I probably will, because it's, it's not a big deal. And quite honestly, the most important layer on the foam mattress, well, that's not all foam, is that top comfort layer because it gets the most compression, it's gonna, it's gonna start losing its properties sooner than any other layer on there. Of course, as I was saying, they come to the market later, they've had a good thing, how can we be individual? So they've got pocket springs, 
Now it's a bit different because like, for instance, I had the Simba, they're micro coils. These are proper uh, full size pocket springs. These are 14 centimeters that they're using. Pocket spr in encapsulated pocket springs, encapsulated meaning there's reinforcement around the edge. So in this case, it's foam. And indeed they put holes in that foam to aid circulation. Again, that's a good thing to think through. The obviously the pocket coils will give some more circulation to the foams above it, but that means you're getting better edge support than you might otherwise have had. So that's good. Now, <laughs> a couple of things that have struck, struck me straight away. Size of the box. For instance, I'm, I'm used to a bigger box. For instance, that's my Lisa box. Difference in sizes. Doesn't mean anything. Of course it's vacuum packed. Maybe they're just more efficient in the vacuum packing, but a uh, bigger box, but a significant thing for me. Handles on the side. It's not. It's a little thing, but makes a big difference moving that, this box around. No handles, of course you can force your hand in, but hand, hand in. But given how they thought everything else through, I was a bit surprised. No handles. Now they must be doing pretty well because they are about to expand into opening offices in Berlin and Amsterdam. So doing well. Can't be a bad mattress. Means not everybody's sending them back. Actually, I have to say something else that's really interesting about Oti is that um, whereas all the other ones I've sent back have gone off to charity, Oti are actually have a, an eBay channel where they actually are selling their refurbished ones. So obviously, now I'm saying off the top of my head, <laughs> I've got to be careful. I'm assuming those are ones that are sent back. I don't know. They may be ones that are damaged in transit. So uh, if you check a lot of the reviews, a lot of them even if they like the mattress, saying there's been problems with the delivery companies. So I don't know why, but they're saying, so they'll either be open boxed, uh, which will be clue, or what they call refurbished, I don't know. But you can get secondhand mattresses straight from, when I say secondhand, sorry, refurbished, straight from their eBay, cha eBay channel at reduced prices. So that's a bit different. Also, just to point out, they've told me that the ones they're gonna sell across Europe won't necessarily be the same as the ones in the UK. Now, no cert pure certification on that, as with most mattresses, other than the Eve that I have, because obviously it's more expensive. And they tell me it's also to do with fire retardant laws in the UK. However, you can get cert pure in the UK, but I have noticed even with the Bruno, which is a well-spec mattress, UK, the foam is not cert pure. The top latex is, but the, certi the foam, polyfoam is not cert pure certified as is the mattress if you go across the rest of Europe. So we're kind of getting the wrong end here in, in the UK. I don't know if that's cost reasons or it's really to do with fire retardant laws, but you certainly can buy certainly put certified, you know, which I like, which I think is important because at the end of the day, polyphone is petrochemicals. Certainly pure is there for a reason. It's telling you that's your assurance that uh, there's no harmful chemicals leaching. They've checked it. Other thing, I will get on with the unboxing. This is just the unboxing, and I'm gonna do the, the big reviews. But the other thing I found interesting was, it's a, it's a memory foam top layer. Uh, the big thing here is the gel. It's gel embedded. So gel memory foam. The headlines obviously is about, we add gel because that makes memory foam sleep cooler. Problem with memory foam is it retains heat. That's how it works. It sleeps hot. Relatively. So the idea is that uh, you get a gel infused one and it sleeps cool. I have to say it's really controversial. So I don't know what percentage of gel is in there. I don't know what type of gel because there are many different techniques. Most common would be gel beads, which means you've got the gel encapsulated in something solid and it changes state between liquid and solid, which alters its heat retaining and heat conductive properties, which means it takes longer to heat up. And in theory, the heat is spread across the rest of the materials. Now, a lot of people are saying, well, it actually delays the heat up, but it doesn't stop the, the heat build up. I don't know, I haven't tried one before, but I just point out that while it could be a really good thing, and some people say, yeah, it really does sleep cooler, it's controversial. So depending on how much they've used, what technique they've used, it could or could not be a good thing there are other things that gel beads can add in terms of properties. It could actually make it, depending on what they've used, it could actually make the densities uh, higher, lower, it can change, it can change all the properties of the memory foam. The real test is sleeping on it and seeing um, how it sleeps. Because it's a memory foam top, it's called Otty. 
Now, they're selling a lot of mattresses. They're expanding, they're doing really well. Don't get me wrong. But me personally, if I was sitting around that table thinking about how to name it, I wouldn't have named it Otty because it's memory foam. And what does Otty sound like? Otty, what's the problem with memory foam? Sleeps hot. So I, when I see Otty, I think Hotty. Okay, it doesn't really stop me buying it, but I wouldn't have branded it like that in the first place. I asked them, why is it called Otty? And they said, well, it's just branding. They didn't really have a reason. I looked up uh, the past, who's used that domain previously. It seems like it was just up for sale, not for a lot of money, at $5,000, not a lot for a four letter .com. I think it was a, an opportunity that came up. I don't know, <laughs> I'm only guessing, but it seems like they got that domain name for cheap. And they've gone with Otty. I would never have done that. It sounds like Hottie. I would have got that wrong because they're doing really well. But I just, these are things that I find, find interesting. But I'm going to get on with the unboxing, which is the main thing, and give you a quick look at the layers and then come back when I've tried it, tell you exactly how I, what I feel about it, compare it to a lot of the other mattresses that I've tried. Oh, just to say, I've talked about delivery. You get more delivery options with Hottie. So you do get the option of a two man team bringing it to any room in your property. That's an issue because some, some companies, will only take it to the door. Now, to the door could mean you could like second, third floor in a flat. Some will take it to the, the front door entrance of the block. Others will take it to your actual front door. But either case, they won't take it into a room. So if you've got, these things are heavy. You've got like a king size. You may be on your own. You want a hand with it. Now, so a lot of companies only have the one option, free delivery. However, with Otty, you get, if you want it in two days, you get two man delivery to any room. Or if you want it in one day, it's one man to, to the door. Not sure if it's your main door or your, if you're on another floor, they'll still bring it up to your actual front door. Just say you do have that option. Okay, so I am gonna do the unboxing. So I've not really seen any other boxings. I've got no idea what is gonna be in the box, whether you're gonna get any instructions. I know from the website, they say allow a few hours. As I always say, do not sleep on your mattress in the first 48 hours. That's when it leaches the most chemicals. They are all chemicals, even so-called all natural foams. In terms of latex, they have some chemicals in it which are used in the production process. So always allow it to air 48 hours, which is when most of those chemicals will leach. I'm not gonna say, I'm not saying it's, uh, it's a, a huge uh, danger, but you know, it's best to let it air, inflate to its full size. That's best for its long-term care anyway, full size before you start sleeping on it. Ikea in the old days used to say three days. So anyway, they do say three hours. I have no idea what's in the box. I'm gonna get on with the unboxing, honestly. Also, I just wanna point out, um, I'm gonna take a little more, more care taking off the wrapping than I normally would do because someone's asked me, <laughs> I don't know if you've seen these videos where they, they re-vacuum pack the mattress. They wrap it in some plastic covering, tie the end to a vacuum, make sure it's airtight, tie the end, one end to a vacuum, sack all the air out, makes it good to you roll it over and makes it good for traveling. Now, the, the question was, if you're careful with the original plastic, will you be able to use that plastic to repackage it for a move? Now, off the top of my head, I'm saying no, because when they actually vacuum pack these mattresses, the ends are sealed after the mattress has been um, compressed. So I don't think you're gonna be able to put that back on because it's, it, the edge is already sealed no matter what you do and you need airtight. But anyway, I'm, gonna, I'm just saying that, I'm gonna say normally I'd rip the thing off but I'm gonna try and be careful uh, just so I can do that experiment. And I have to say, not only are there instructions, all those, <laughs> it's, it's a little bit tatty, but they're out on the top. Uh, many times I've unpacked the mattress and I've missed the, the instructions. A, because it's either on the lid and I've not looked because it's on the inside of the lid or it's been on the bottom of the mattress. But here we are on top. It's, it's, I, don't know, <laughs> I don't know if that was an accident or that's intentional, but there are instructions on a, a quality piece of paper, but it's, uh, they put it in a bit haphazardly. Um, but indeed, uh, it's there. And actually, having said that, let your mattress breathe. After you have removed your mattress from its packaging, leave it uncovered in a well-vented room to allow any condensation or odor to disperse. After just two hours, the mattress is ready. However, a further 24 to 48 hours is required for the mattress to achieve its full height. So, you know, they're telling you straight. Now, here's the thing. This must be pretty generic. It says, if the mattress you have purchased contains memory foam. Well, obviously you only do a memory foam mattress, don't they? So, although it says Otty, that's strangely generic. 
Anyway, there's some, <laughs> at least you've got some proper instructions. One piece, easy to read. I quite like that. So, I, I don't know what this is. I've never, well this appears to be a cover. Was it? What is this? Okay, I, <laughs> I've got no idea what this is. Obviously, it must be a cover for the mattress. But why? And it doesn't seem to open up. We've got Velcro here. Well, I'll come back to this. I don't know what this is. It doesn't open up. I don't know if it says anything on the instructions. So, I've got my standing knife ready to open it. It does say here, we have not seen before, we do not recommend the use of a standing knife. I don't know if that's a safety issue, or you know, just so in case you don't uh, tear the mattress. Please open the mattress using scissors. I've got a standing knife here. Oti, made in China. Wasn't expecting that. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> I'll be able to read a bit more about that. Oti, um, sold by company in Leeds. Made in China. Obviously, they source these things out. It's a lot cheaper in China, isn't it? But, okay, <laughs> I didn't see that on the website. Oh look, and they probably say, I have to say, this is probably one of the best presented mattresses I've had because I don't use high-end mattresses. You know, this is a budget sector at the end of the day, still trying to f see, you know, if there is um, a holy grail mattress out there that is reasonably priced, it would be great for everybody. But this is one of the best presented in terms of instructions, how things are clear, how they've thought it through, I must say. And <laughs> made in China, but it's all in English. So obviously it's for the our market. It tells you about the mattress on here. Now, interestingly, whereas they say the bottom layer is um, high density, here it says five centimeters for regular foam and indeed regular foam for the second layer. So that's kind of saying the bottom layer and the second layer are the same. This is really interesting, there's a lot for me to get my teeth into, but I'm trying to get this uh, top off without tearing anything. So it's not obvious where the actual join is. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this very carefully. Interestingly, the, it's not sealed up close to the mattress as quite often it is, which I was expecting. So, may be possible to cut this on just one side. So that'll be another video trying to vacuum pack it. I don't think it's going to work, but I will have a look at the best way to re-vacuum pack them uh, for easy moving. For easy moving. Now, I did get the feeling from what they were saying, the top cover is removable from the rest of the mat from the rest of the cover, the top part from the rest of the cover, um, and wash it's machine washable. However, I can see this is all in one, and to take it off. You do need to come down the bottom uh, to unzip it, which is not what I expected. So that's a shame, but I'm going to have to do that anyway to, um, first thing I want to say, does it smell? There's definitely a chemical smell there, as you know, you do get with foam mattresses. The test is after 48 days. <coughs> That would be a test. After 48 hours, it's not overpowering, but it's, it is definitely there. Let's take this off. Just to have a quick look at it, check it's the right way around. I'll always say my Casper came the wrong way around. From then on, I will always check the layers are the right way around. 
So the cover is good quality on paper. It does feel thick and stretchy, quite nice. I would imagine that significant feel when you're, when you're actually laying on it. It's got a stocking on, which I presume is not a fire stocking because you don't, shouldn't need them in this country uh, because the fire retardant chemical should be within the mattress, the foam itself. It may just be there as protection. And we can see it's got holes around the side of the mattress in the third lead. That's, so that is the, I think that's the spring there. So the memory foam itself has the holes in to aid cooling. So on paper, it's, if, you, or prob if you like memory foam, but you have a problem with heat retention, holes in the layer, gel beads being used, it should improve the situation. Very memory foam like. A lot of the memory foams now are almost just a normal poly foam because they're so responsive. At the end of the day, memory foam, is, you know, should be slow. That's a, that is a, a traditional memory foam. But they're trying to really find the sweet point between not having all those heat problems, um, being a bit more responsive, but not actually, but while still bit having that contouring property of uh, memory foam. As I, said, I was never a big fan of memory foam, but I have to say, since I got the Eve and then put a memory foam topper on it, I've really got, got to like it. But I guess it, it really depends on what they've used. So this is going to take a while to come. So you've got your, your cool blue gel memory foam layer. It's hard to say. You've got your Sec your normal foam, which is a responsive second one, and then you've got your coils there. I'm not going to fill the pocket springs because it's encapsulated, so it, there's going to be a foam around the edge anyway. And then you've got the normal foam layer on the bottom for your base. This is obviously going to take a while longer than normal to get to its full height. So I'll take that stocking off when I come to do my full review, if I try and get all technical details. Uh, clear up the loose ends um, in the information I've just, just found out um, and give you my normal long rambling but in-depth review. So thank you for watching. UK.